Ronald Cummings is now out of prison. We confirmed that within the past hour. We just spoke with his mother moments ago. She told us he'll spend a few weeks at a hotel and that he's always thinking of his daughter Haley. The five-year-old disappeared in 2009 and was never found. Ronald Cummings spent 12 years in prison on unrelated drug trafficking charges. He was never a suspect in the disappearance of his daughter. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson just spoke with Haley's grandmother moments ago and joins us live now from Putnam County. Scott? Yeah, Joy, I just talked with her. She says uh, Ronald Cummings is now just trying to transition back into society after being in prison for several years. He got out earlier today. The family trying to help him transition back, and they do tell me, because I asked about Haley, it's been 13 years, but he says that his daughter, is they tell me his daughter is still on his mind all the time. I spoke to Ronald Cummings' mother, Teresa Nevis, here at her Satsuma home, following the news that he'll be released from prison. She just told me she's going to pick up her son, but it's unclear where he'll reside after that. The Department of Corrections website shows Fruitland Park, which is between Ocala and Orlando. Ronald Cummings was the face of the search for his daughter, and fingers were pointed at several adults who were around Haley in 2009 when she disappeared. Ronald Cummings, however, was never suspected because he was working at the time she disappeared. He spoke with News for Jack several times about his desire to get his daughter back. Somebody stole my child out of my bed. I come, come home from work and my, my child was not there. That's it. That's all there was to it. Gone just like that. Roughly a year later, Cummings was sentenced to prison on an unrelated drug charge. Prosecutors at the time locked Cummings up along with his girlfriend, Misty Croslin, who was the last adult to see Haley. Croslin is still incarcerated. Since this all happened, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office has continued its investigation into Haley's disappearance, which the agency now tells me is moving toward a cold case status, as they now consider it a homicide investigation rather than a missing persons case. This is a case News for Jax has continued to cover for 13 years since it happened. In fact, News for Jax anchor Jennifer Waugh conducted several interviews on this case in her podcast series, Into Thin Air where original investigators in the case talk in depth about not having enough evidence to ever arrest Ronald's girlfriend, Misty, despite a failed polygraph test. Listen to how the 17-year-old responded when she's asked to explain why she told investigators two different things about where Haley was sleeping that night. Um... <laughs> And her response is, I don't know. That says everything to me. He confronts her about lying and she says, I don't know. An interesting thing from the Putnam County Sheriff's Office is they tell me every investigator who originally worked on this case in 2009 is either retired or left the agency, but that doesn't mean they're not still getting tips all the time and following them down. They tracked some all across the country, some very interesting ones, leads that they looked at. We'll get in tonight at 6 o'clock. Stay with us. We'll be back then. For now, we're live in Putnam County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Scott, thank you. Folks, if you want to listen to our podcast about Haley Cummings' disappearance, written and recorded by News for Jack's anchor Jennifer Waugh, we have got every episode on our website right now. Just go to newsforjacks.com slash Haley.